Today, you're going to be getting two big sheets of construction paper. One's going to be a secondary color, one's going to be a primary color. As you guys know, when two colors are opposite of each other on the color wheel, we call those complementary colors. Kind of like blue and orange, purple and yellow, and red and green. And my three tips for remembering those are the Vikings, the Bears, and Christmas colors. You're going to pick one of your complementary colored sheets of paper to be your background, one to be your pumpkin color. I am going to actually choose orange to be my background. You are going to use a black colored pencil and a ruler, and you're going to draw straight lines all over that sheet of paper. You'll notice that it makes a whole bunch of geometric shapes. Do them wherever you would like. You have some big shapes, some small shapes. However, I don't want to see any floating lines like this right here. So I'm going to connect my colored pencil and keep on drawing. Do a good job. Make sure that you have that ruler nice and steady when you're drawing your lines. That way we don't end up with any curves. We want to see these nice geometric shapes. You're going to cover the entire paper. Alright, so I've gotten my paper broken up into all kinds of geometric shapes. Please make sure that your name is on the back, Mr. C, and you are my three, and uh, whatever class you are, either A, B, or C. When you're done with that, we'll make a pile of these on the front supply table. Then you can move on to working on your pumpkin. Today we're just going to work on getting the general shape of the pumpkin. So I'm put my name on the back. three and whatever your letter is. Flip it over. We're going to keep our pumpkins kind of simple. We're going to do just the regular oval shaped pumpkin with the stem and then a few of those curved lines. All right, we won't get super fancy because if we do, I think it's going to make our painting a little hard for us. I'm going to draw a nice big oval going almost to the edges of my paper. Right now, it's kind of hard to see. I get pretty close over here. Same as on this side. Same as to the bottom. Top, I left just a little bit of room to give myself a stem, like that. And you can add a little half circle if you'd like. That's your decision. I would start in the center, and you're going to have a line come just from the edge of your stem, curve all the way down back to the center. Same as on the other side. Curved all the way down back to the center. Now I need to do that on either side of those lines. So on this side, I'm gonna get real pretty close to that first one. Curve, it's gonna get nice and big, and then come back down and get close. So you see it gets close, then far away, then close. I'm probably gonna do that one more time. If you start to get too many lines on your pumpkin, it's going to get too complicated. So I did one, two, three. Now I need to do a couple on the other side because I've got one, two, and three. When you get this far, you're done for the day. 